go get him again. Welcome, name's Mark from the Robes OA channel. If you're new here and you just subscribed, please comment below. Uh, always love to see new faces on the channel. To all my returnees, love you even more. Thank you for subscribing and being around. Hopefully you're gonna enjoy this take. I don't really talk about Mansara on my channel, as you can tell, um, very tiny little collection. Uh, Mansara is kind of like a spinoff of Motal. You know, they have the same nose apparently. Pierre Montal is Pierre Mancetta apparently. Um, there's a lot of <laughs> those brands you, you're kind of sketched out a little bit but I digress. I'm, I'm Mancetta and I don't really have much of a relationship as you can tell. I'm a Montal guy and even at that point uh, it's kind of pushing it. I do own at least a dozen Montals. I don't know if you can see them in the camera there but they're over here. I got uh, at least a dozen here. Um, and I only own three Mansettas from today's date. Of course, at the end of the day, I'm going to have four now. Uh, black gold is what we're going to be unboxing and talking about today. Um, but yeah, Mansettas and Motels are usually throw-ins in my fragrance halls just because um, at discounters, they're very cheap. You can find them readily available for under $100 Canadian um, for little bottles like this. Two, two fluid ounce, 60 mil bottles like these little guys is plenty enough for me. I don't need the big boy bottles. Um, and they are, yes, throw-ins. Um, sometimes I just feel like going, okay, let's let's try another Mansetta or let's try another Montal. Um, no one has time, at least from my my experience, no one has time to test out all the Montals and all the Mansettas. If you do, you're a legend. If you don't, you're normal. Uh, but um, yeah, so I'm kind of a Montal fanboy, I guess, kinda. Uh, but Mansetta and I don't really have much of a relationship. and. Um, that's one thing that these brands, Montal and Mansara, have a, let's say, a negative um, thought process within the fragrance community. There's some that absolutely love these brands, swear by it, it's their favorite brands, perfect. Mansara or Montal, depending. Um, but there's some in the fragrance community that say they're absolute trash. This is all they are. Oud, rose, blah, 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 very synthetic, blah, blah, blah. Um, it, it's like clockwork. You, the haters, they're going to be in the comments below in my video, not even watching the video. Um, I've learned that quite quickly in my journey not to judge a book by its cover. Um, don't talk, you know, don't go with other people's talk about a brand. Like, actually experience it. And that's, you know, my motel. You know, I own over a dozen. And I know I'm going to story time, and I do apologize, but... Um, it's an okay story. Motel, I started with White Oud and Black Oud. I blind bought them both, and that was my start to Maltel. You know, White Oud was okay, Black Oud was actually pretty good, but then you start buying more and you're just like, this is kind of redundant. And that's where a lot of people talk about these brands. If I would have stopped there, I wouldn't have got Chocolate Greedy, Vanilla Cake, Honey Oud, um, Oud Cuir d'Arabie, Oud Leather from Maltel. These are absolutely gorgeous fragrance and have nothing to do with the Maltel. Oud rose combo. They're very, very different. Some of them are some of the best gourmands, right? Vanilla cake and uh, chocolate greedy. I digress. And that's where I am with Mansetta right now is that, you know, I can't hate on the brand. I have very limited experience with them. My own three, these were all blind bought. Um, Hindu Kush is the one that I really wanted. Uh, but these other two were throw ins, and I'm trying to remember their names Cedra Boise and Instant. Oh shit, that almost uh, broke there. Instant Crush. Um, these two feel like they're inspired buys. So that is something that, oh, you know, red flag, just like, uh, you know, come on, give me something different, something unique. And that's what kind of I like from Maltal, at least from the ones I own. Um, a lot of them are not, again, those, the ones I own. I know there's some of them out there that do smell like other things. But anyway, I own these three, um, and I do that sometimes. I just buy the, the ones that do get hype. And this one, Black Gold, is in, I remember vaguely, but I do remember this particular fragrance in some reviewers' list as some of the top men set us to check out. But I do recall, again, vaguely, that people were saying that this, it, the reviews are all over the place. Some are saying it's a spicy fragrance. Some are saying it's a leather-based fragrance. There's some oud in here, um, it's floral, it's light, it's dark, it's all over the place. So that's where I'm just like blind by it, bah, who cares. So let's go, let's unbox bottle number four of the collection 
block gold and very random purchase for me throw in so let's see what we get and again I got the little bottle there's no need for more than what is this 60 mils yeah there's, there's no, it's an extra 10 mil of a smaller bottle um, because usually brands give you 50. These guys give you 60. It's perfectly fine. So, uh, black bottle, gold cap, and then you got, uh, of course, the clear uh, bottom of um, the bottle. Is this a screw? Some of these are screw-offs, and some of these are uh, magnetic caps. So this one's a screw top. Some, some good weight to it. So let's uh, delve into black gold. Let's see what I get out of it. Again, this is going to be my center of the day. I'm wearing nothing today. This is why I'm shooting this video. Let's uh, let's smell this thing. Floral. Let's, uh, you know, let's wear it properly. Um, I'm getting lots of florals up top. Jasmine, a sweet jasmine. So, okay, so now that it's developing a little bit, that's not what people were talking about when I recall seeing reviews of this thing. I'll try it on a blotter, but very much floral beginning. Um, jasmine's dominant, there you go. And all these caps look different. It's it's weird how much the branding has changed with this this brand. Okay, there's a little bit of spice coming through, a little cinnamon drop here. Lavender and jasmine are your primaries. Watery violet. Um, okay, so let's see if it's different on the blotter. No. Um, yeah. See, I. This fragrance right now, I don't think is top five, top 10 worthy in any list personally for me. Again, it's an initial impression. It's not a wow fragrance, right? There's there's fragrances out there, even these like Cedra Boise, even though it's like Aventus and Hindu Kush, even there, um, there's a personality to it. And maybe this is just, I've smelled so many it's very floral centric and I don't remember any reviewer saying yeah they were saying lavender and I don't even think lavender is the primary it's a secondary very nice warm lavender I feel um, but it has some freshness to it because the violet here gives you some watery aspects so you got that jasmine with the sweetness you got a little cinnamony touch here Almost, again, with all these florals, almost, dare I say, it's clean. I don't want to go soapy, but the lavender kind of brings you to that laundry detergent soapiness. I don't like a bad lavender. And it's almost, maybe that's why I'm not wowed by this one. It has that... <laughs> Bad lavenders don't do do well on my skin and sweet. Um, definitely not a leathery fragrance at all. Again, it's a base note, so it may develop on my skin. Again, this is just an initial impression. Um, and again, the introduction of a fragrance doesn't tell you the whole story. So anybody that's reviewing like I am right now and saying this is the fragrance, this is not the fragrance. This is just your initial impression. So. At the end of the day, black gold. I'm getting nothing black here, nothing gold at all. Florals are dominant on my skin. And lots of them. Lavender, second in command. Jasmine's number one in command. There's a watery violet. The lavender is giving you a soapy quality. Cheapish. Um, I'll, I'll be honest, it really smells like laundry detergent. And it does that on my skin. Not maybe for you, um, but a classic floral. Oh, and again, there's some spice here. So it's not just floral. So cinnamon touch. Um, it doesn't have much bite to it. 
But really, at the end of the day, this is a very classical fragrance. Um, I don't know. I, I don't, I'm not feeling it. I, I don't feel like this is, and maybe I'm wrong, but I remember, I recall, and this is like going years ago, like when this was, I think this even got a hype, but um, I felt like this fragrance made some people's top five, top 10 list, you know, must have Mancetas. If this is a must have Mancetta for me, for my taste, you can get this somewhere else. But I, again, I got it at a discount for the price I paid for is fine. But uh, I'm looking forward to delving into it. Maybe I'm gonna get those rougher notes that maybe give you that gold black feel, like the oud maybe, um, patchouli. Um, there's leather in here that's supposed to be there. Okay, now that I'm looking at the leather's like suede. I mean, it's very minor. Um, I'm happy that the florals are going. Um, the cinnamon's pulling up a little bit, but it doesn't really have much bite. And there's a watery feel, but that's more of the violet. I've, I've smelt that before. Um, yeah, at the end of the day, I'm not wowed. It's okay. Um, Another Mansetta. Uh, this is not making me want to buy more from the brand. I might take a little hiatus from the brand. Uh, maybe go get another Montel um, as a throw in. But at the end of the day, it's going to get a test drive on my channel, as you know, and a full fledged review. And I may change my tune. Uh, but at the end of the day, this is a, an all right release, I guess, for the right person. But if there ever was a hype, and I'm thinking there was, or at least a lots of love for this particular release, and I'm sorry that you love it. My initial impression is it's okay. It's nothing I would rebuy or, you know, go all up and go, I gotta get some more of this. Um, no. Now that you heard my take, I'd love to see yours in the comments below. And I know not every video has to be a winner. Um, I'm not straight up hating on black gold. Um, I think it's, it's okay. But for retail, ooh, discounter pricing, eh, a little better. Uh, but I much prefer the three I have over here than this. Um, this doesn't, it reminds me of a lot of different things just because of the notes that are made, like the lavender is kind of pedestrian. It's very um, designer-ish. Um, the jasmine, same thing, I've smelled that before. Even the cinnamon has no real bite to it. The leather is very much non-existent. It's suede-like, it's in the background. I think you're gonna get more out of it in the back end. But anyway, I can't wait to see all the comments below, especially with the men's set up. You know, I don't need to love what you love. You don't have to defend black gold on my video. You can if you want, uh, but uh, it's not you to uh, persuade me that this is a great fragrance. Might work for you, doesn't work for me. I'm gonna give it its due chance. I'm gonna wear it, and you're gonna see a test drive video on my channel within you know, a few months or, or give or take, and I'll give you my thoughts on it. As always, a greater pour fragrance will make a lasting impression. Choose your Mancetta release carefully, wisely. <laughs> Thanks for watching, have a good one.